Hello, my name is Anthony, and welcome to the White Box Geospatial YouTube channel. Today, I'll be providing you a short tutorial on how to download, install, and activate one of the White Box Toolset Extension products. The method that we will, the method that I will show you today, allows for the easy integration of the Toolset Extension from either the White Box Tools Python API or from the White Box front end White Box Runner. This replaces our previous method of the installing, activating the extension product, which allowed for a lot more moving of individual files between directories and was a little bit messier compared to this new method. So let's get into how to do that today. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to the download white box tools page on our website. And you're gonna to want to download the latest version of white box tools, which is now version 2.1. Go ahead and select the operating system that you use enter a bit of information about yourself and hit submit and download. Once you have downloaded the open core, you're gonna to want to head over to the manual. So the white box tool, within the white box tools manual, you'll see a section called white box tools extension. Go ahead and click that. In this section, you'll get tons of information about what the white box tools extensions are, the different products, and then the different tools within them. Specifically, you will also see how to download, install, and activate them using two methods. The first uses the white box tools Python API, where you have to enter a bit of Python code into a Python script and they will go and the extensions will be downloaded and, and installed, or you can download and install the extension from the front end white box runner, which I will go ahead and show you today. So now that you've gathered a bit of information about the white box extensions, how to download them, and also some information, and you've also downloaded the open core, we're gonna go ahead and launch white box runner. So let's navigate to a terminal, and we're gonna to wanna to change directory to the location where your white box tools folder is located. For myself, that's in within my documents folder in another folder called Anthony um, WBT nope, tutorial. There we go, whoops. Within WBT tutorial, Anthony WBT tutorial, we're gonna to wanna to access the WBT folder. And now we're within the WBT folder and you'll see white box runner. So let's go ahead and launch that using the command Python three WB runner. And now the white box runner should load. Once the white box runner has loaded, you're gonna to wanna to navigate to file. And you'll see some information about how to set the working directory, locate the white box tools exe, but specifically, you're gonna to want to click on install a white box extension. Once you click this, it will activate a script that will allow you to choose which white box extension you would like to download and install. And this will print to the terminal. So make sure you still have the terminal uh, open and visible as it will print vital information. So let's go ahead and click install a white box extension. So going back to the terminal, you will see it asks us a question. It prompts us, which extension would you like to install? GTE for general tool set extension, LIDAR for LIDAR remote sensing extension, DEM for DEM and spatial hydrology extension, or AGRI for agriculture extension. Today, I wanna to download the GTE. So let's go ahead and enter GTE. Once you enter, it will download and install the extension plugin. This can make, take a little bit of time based on your internet connection, so please just bear with the process. Specifically, this method replaces an older method, which allowed for a lot of moving separate files between folders, and it was just messier compared to this new method, which is much more of a seamless integration. So there we go. The white box general tool set extension has been installed, and it, asks, it talks about some more steps. First, you will need to activate the license before using the extension. If you do not currently have a valid activation key, you may purchase one by visiting whiteboxgeo.com slash extension pricing. For, for the purpose of this video, I've actually purchased a license and we can go ahead and actually activate that today. So would you like to activate a license key for the extension now? Yes. And now the register license um, script launches which is very similar to our previous method. We, we use the same register license script. So this should be familiar for those of you that have watched that video or have purchased a license. So first it asks for the email address of the licensee. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in, support at whiteboxgo.com. 
this email is case sensitive, so make sure you are entering the correct email address. Seat number, I only purchased one seat number, so we're gonna go, on and go ahead and enter one. And the activation key, I will get that. So we've gone and entered the activation key now, and let's go ahead, proceed to the next step. Do you agree to the terms of the license? Yes, we do. License activated for the general tool set. Please enjoy. Do you want to activate another license? Uh, currently we do not, but let's say you purchase multiple seats and you wanted to enter um, another, activate another license, you could do so at that time, at this time. But for right now, we're, we don't wanna do this. So let's go ahead and hit no. And there you go, goodbye and enjoy your product. Specifically in White Box Runner, you will see now the tool count updated to 518 from 565, which actually reflects the change of adding the general tool set extension. So now you have full access to the general tool set extension and the white box tools open core. And that concludes this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please, please feel free to comment down below and uh, have a good day.